Okay, so this is the first video of my homemade oven made out of a filing cabinet. Um, so the first thing I kind of did is I obviously took out the drawers, and then there were these cross braces like this, and I took an angle grinder to them and chopped all those off. That's all I've done so far. My plan is to also go in and cut these out um, and just basically make room for all the insulation. I don't want any metal um, sinking heat to the outside, so I want to get as much insulation as possible to cover the inside of the oven. Um, I'll keep you up to date with other videos. This angle grinder I got is, I believe, a 7 amp from Home Depot. I really like it. It has all the power that I need. Yeah, it's 7 amp. Um, yeah. I definitely recommend a pair of goggles for this. So real quick tip, uh, what I found is if I just cut this side and I use it, the lever arm of this to break it loose, then I don't have to cut it so many places. Right here I stuck a hammer, the nail puller side, whatever that's called, the jaws, I stuck it in here and I just kept prying and prying until it popped loose. And so now I can use the lever arm just to break this off and I just kind of go up and down. It's not very hard at all and it just pops off. That way, I can take that whole arm off. So I've been working on the drawers. I just took the angle grinder to this part and cut it. So this is cut the front face off, and I obviously took the handles off for now. I'll probably put them back on for the final part. And then what I did is I took this part out. You can see here, got this part out, and then I also cut off this part. I think I might do a two-door system where the top two op can open or the bottom two can open they'll be hooked together so what I think I'll do is I cut the bottom clear here and I think I'll cut the top off here and I'll hook them together we'll see what happens though don't be too hasty so I've decided to take out this whole section right here and instead of angle grinding it out I looked in here and up in this corner it's I forget the kind of weld it's called but it's just tacked where these two metals are just hooked in two little spots. And so I just grabbed it and kept yanking like this, and then I took a hammer and hammered this back, and I did that to both sides, and I finally got them loose. And then down here, I cut out, I cut across and then cut a knot shape so it could bend this way, so it could bend like that freely. And all it's connected right now is back here. I'm just gonna bend it back and forth until it fatigues and breaks. Do that to both sides. Let's see, you can push that in there. So I've just been swinging it back and forth until it until it'll break. So I got this part out now. I ended up cutting the top part off of this because I've decided to use this as my bottom and I'll have room for insulation or maybe put the heating elements in there. I'm not haven't decided yet. So I just cut along this line here on the top here and took that out. You gotta be really careful. Um, I actually knocked this loose, which if I get fatigued back there too much it'll break off. Otherwise I don't have anything to set the height back there so that this is level. So I'm just gonna try and keep that preserved. Well, I'm done for today. Pretty much done all the angle grinding on here and removal of metal that I think I'm going to do. I ended up taking off these support bracket things because I don't think it really needs them. It is a little bit more wobbly without them, but I wanted to take advantage of not having or having a better um, thermal insulation, and I felt like this bridging up would squish the insulation more and make more heat loss. Um, so, yeah, and I ended up taking off the side, so all that I have now is these bars here. Um, yeah, I pretty much stripped everything. That's it for today. I'll post the next video when I work on it next weekend.